Welcome back to the series of lessons on surface area. Do you remember what we've covered so far in this series? We started by considering what units of measurements we will use for area. We use square units to measure area. It could be millimeter squared or even centimeter squared. Then we determine the formula for the area of a rectangle as height times base. We use this very easy formula to work out formulae for other shapes, the parallelogram, triangles, trapezium, kite. We also saw the importance of looking at solid structures from different views, like the sides, top, front and back, before we can work out the surface area of the solid structures. In these next few lessons, we're going to use everything we've learned so far to calculate the area of outer surfaces of other solid objects. Then we will calculate the actual surface area of the triangular prism. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use nets to work out the surface area of triangular right prisms. Have a look at this cereal box. How would you go about finding its surface area? Where would you start? We need to find out how many of these rectangular shapes make up the total outside area of the box. And we need to know what the correct formulae are for these areas so that we can work out the total surface area. In other words, what does the net of the shape look like? And what is the formula for calculating the surface area of each of the shapes? During this lesson, we are going to look at two different right prisms. But first, we need to make sure that we all know what is meant by a right prism. A prism is a special type of solid object with two faces called bases that are congruent and parallel. The other faces of the polygon are called the lateral faces and they connect the corresponding sides of the bases. This sounds like a lot, but let's look at each of the terms that we used. Remember, by congruent, we mean that they are exactly the same shape and size. By parallel, we mean that they are in equal distance apart wherever you measure the distance between them. And lateral means side, so a lateral face is any side face joining the two bases. Have another look at the diagram and make sure you understand what a right prism is. I'm going to give you the definition again. A prism is a special type of solid object with two bases that are congruent and parallel. The other faces of the polygon are called the lateral faces and they connect the corresponding sides of the bases. Prisms are classified according to their bases. For example, a prism with triangular bases is called a triangular prism. And a prism with hexagonal bases is called a hexagonal prism. Right prisms are prisms whose lateral faces are rectangles and the lateral faces are also perpendicular to the bases. All of the prisms we have shown you so far are right prisms. Look at them again. Their lateral faces are rectangles and they are perpendicular to the bases. Let's see if you can identify what type of prism this is. It is a right triangular prism. It has one, two bases of the same shape parallel to each other. The other faces are rectangular and perpendicular to the bases. What do you think we should do first to find the surface area of the shape? Well, I think we could make a cutout or a foldout of the outside area of the shape. Let me show you how. Take any old box and unglue all the parts stuck together. Open it up like this. 
there you are. In mathematics, we have a special name for a foldout of a shape. It is called a net. Can you see that making a net of the object makes it easier to work with? If we know what the net of an object looks like, we can easily work out the surface area because we are working with flat shapes again. And we know many formulae for working out the area of flat shapes. Now let's look at an animation and see how we could create a net for a triangular prism. Let's look at the shapes that make up the net. What shapes do we have here? We have two congruent triangles and three congruent rectangles. So that means we will need to have the formula for the surface area of triangles. And the surface area of triangles is given by the formula area equal to half base times height. And because we have two congruent triangles, this formula must be multiplied by two. Take a careful look at where are marked the height and the base. If BC were the base, then the height would be drawn like this. If EF were the base, the height would be drawn like this. And remember the heights are perpendicular heights. Now let's work out the surface area for the rectangles. Now we said that the three rectangles were congruent to each other. And the bases of these rectangles make up the triangle. This means that the base of the triangle and the base of the rectangle are equal in length. So we can write the area of the rectangle as area is equal to base times height. Now I've put in capital H because the height of the rectangle is different from the height of the triangle. And remember we have three rectangles, so we need to multiply this formula by three. Finally, we need to add the two areas to get the total surface area for our triangular prism. Let's do that quickly. So the total surface area is given by the formula A is equal to 2 multiplied by a half base times height plus 3 multiplied by base times height. This simplifies to base times height plus 3 base times height. Fantastic! Now we have this formula. Let's see if we can use it. For example, take this tent with a height of 1,73 meters. Don't worry about the decimal value. You can use your calculators to solve this problem. Calculate the total surface area of this tent. Although you can't see the inside of the tent, it does have a floor. Let's solve this problem together. We know that this shape is a right triangular prism. We know that the formula for calculating the area of this right triangular prism is area is equal to base times the height of the triangle, which in this case is... 1,73 meters and we add 3 base times height of the rectangle. When we substitute the points we know that the base of the triangle is 2 meters multiplied by the height which is 1,73 plus 3 times the base of the rectangle, which is 2 meters, times by the height of the rectangle, which is 4 meters. And this gives us 3,46 plus 24. So our total surface area for our triangular prism is 27,46 meters squared. Let's go over what we've learned in today's lesson. In this lesson, I have shown you what a right prism is and how you can make a net from a prism. 
we found the net for a triangular prism and used this to find the total surface area of a tent. Here's your task for today. Work with a friend to make your own triangular prism out of paper or cardboard. You are going to need two pieces of cardboard and some tape. Start by folding the first piece of paper into three rectangles. Then cut two triangles from the other piece of paper to make the ends and stick it together with tape. You should be ready by now to find the total surface area of any structure by yourself. So long as you can draw its net, you can use the formulae we know to work out the area. That's all for today. Goodbye. Oh, my God.